Hey up ladies and gents, Noddy here and I've been looking for a new place to farm and some new items to farm and I figured that the black tabby cat is a decent seller and I came across this one in the Hillsbrad foothills here on the map. What we're killing are stone pike engineers and these are only attackable by horde characters. Sorry Alliance. They respawn almost instantly and then after about 20 minutes they take a little bit longer to respawn but there's always some to kill. So you don't have to worry about that. Just make sure you clear the camp. And there's not really much else to say about this. It can be done as a solo farm, but obviously a five-man group will be better for this. The Black Tabby Cat sells for about 40,000 gold on my server. So check your servers, see if it's worth it, and yeah. So let's have a look at what we've got. I'm not going to bother talking about the useless stuff, like, for example, these recipes. Linen cloth, we got... How much do we get? 854. 1059 wool cloth, 485 silk cloth, got some uh, Lessman stones, shadow gem, and massa gate. We got one uh, black tabby cat carrier, which is what we were farming for. A couple of log boxes. This um, blue transmog, it's a unique, uh, well, by unique, I mean it's like a different color. But this, this is like the only one of this appearance. So this goes for like 1.5k. Then the rest of the transmog is not really noteworthy. I'll just hover over it and have a look. That's 500 gold actually. I just hover over it. Nothing noteworthy here really to be honest. Oh, another 500 gold one there. And that's it. So, an hour and a half farming. We were farming for these uh, black tabby cats, and we got one. We got this one in the first 30 minutes, actually. So, yeah. If you want to see more of these, then subscribe to the channel. If you liked this, give it a like. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. Comment any feedback. Comment anywhere that you want me to farm. If you have any spots, and I'll uh, check it out. So, yep, thank you. Bye-bye.